Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Monday, July 13th. I'm Chris Langlois. Let's start with the check of your forecast from meteorologist Stefano Di Pietro. What can we expect on this Monday? Well, Chris, it is going to be a much less humid day today. Noticeable this morning, even more so as we go through this afternoon. I don't think we'll completely lose that humid air, but the comfort index for the next 24 hours is definitely on the lower side compared to where we've been over about the last couple of weeks since it seems like that humid air just doesn't want to go anywhere. 84 for the high today, partly sunny in your eyewitness weather forecast. A stray shower or thunderstorm will be in the cards as we go through our day today, but looks much more isolated than the last couple. 60 for the overnight low tonight. 82 tomorrow will toss a stray shower into the mix once again. Wednesday, clouds and sun were in the mid 80s. Thursday and Friday, now it's getting more humid. Scattered showers and a thunderstorm each day. Then we turn up the heat this weekend. We're back in the 90s, Chris. Thanks, Stefano. A community effort is underway to help clean neighborhoods and riverbanks in Luzerne County. A joint river cleanup was held along the Susquehanna River in Wilkesbury on Sunday. About a dozen community members came out to help clear the litter off the river and surrounding neighborhoods. The efforts were focused on the Pickering Street area south of the city. Organizers and supporters hope to continue the cleanup efforts weekly. Coal mining is, of course, embedded in NEPA's history, and even coronavirus couldn't stop a celebration of its legacy. The annual Coal Miners Heritage Festival went on as scheduled Sunday to celebration of the region's coal tradition and rich history held at the number nine coal mine and museum. Attendees were served some food, historical displays, and were able to tour the mine and museum. This year, organizers did place restrictions to follow the state's health orders, but didn't stop the community from coming out to learn a little bit more about the unique industry. Thanks for joining us. We hope you have a great Monday.